This is Jay Teaches Reading for All, Lesson 16, Introducing the Letter Q. And before we get into that, let's review the sounds of the letters. All right, students, short A. A, N, N, B, B, boy, C, C, cap, D, D, donut, E, E, egg, F, F, flag, G, G, gun, H, H, house, I, I, Indian, J, J, jet, K, K, kite, L, L, lamp, M, M, mountain, O has two sounds, A, octopus, O, ostrich, and well, uh, well, the last one is uh, P. I almost forgot Piggy. P pig. All right. Now let's review the words. We'll begin our review with lesson 14. Going back two lessons. And as mentioned, and as you know, O has two sounds for the short vowel sounds. One is a octopus, and these words that we're starting with have that a octopus sound, and the entire first line of words rhyme. Here we go, students. J -a -b, job. M ab mob b ab bob g ab gob l ab lob and the next three words rhyme Lock, lock, mock, mock, d -ock, dock. Next two words rhyme. N -ad, nod, g -ad, God. Last line. D -an Don. M -am Mom. An -an. Now some words that have the aw ostrich sound of O. And this first line also rhyming words. First one D -og -l -og -log -th -og -fog -th -og Hog J Og Jog Last one Let me get it over there a little bit better Off Off All right now let's go to lesson fifteen and 
the words in this lesson. P is a popular letter. Look at all the words we've got here with P in them. First one. Pal. Pal. Ep. Pep. Pop. Pop. And pond P -ack pack P -ick pick P -ick peck P add pad Am, Pam, P An, Pan, P An, Pen, P In, Pin, P Il, Pill. Egg, pig, P egg, peg. These next four rhyme. L ip, lip, d ip, dip. N ip. Nip, hip, hip, and we got a few more down at the bottom. This one, up, hop, mm, up, mop, k, up, cop. App map G app gap L app lap all the way up here under Mr. Piggy N app nap so we had the last four words rhyme. Map, gap, lap, and nap. Okay, um, in reviewing the words, teachers, you might want to have uh, students practice on those, and I forgot to remind you in lesson 14, but if you want to uh, press pause, and you might need to go back and uh, pick up the words in lesson 14 and have the students read to you. Help is needed and use pause. Now we're going to review the true and false. So teachers, we're going to begin with lesson 15. Have the students read these to you. And then I'll put lesson 14, true and false sentences, up on the screen. And you can do the same with those.
Okay, now we're going to go to our new letter. Our new letter is the letter Q. And Q must be accompanied by a U. It makes this, or they make the sound qua, as in quarter. Now, this quarter is not to size. And I know you can't see the details on the actual coin here, but here's an actual quarter size. Had to make it bigger so you could see it. So, lesson um, 16, if you're not doing the printing practice, just skip, as I'm sure you've been doing, to the uh, words. If you are doing the printing practice, then you'll be doing um, capital Q like you do an O, and go around counterclockwise, put a little tail on it, and you've got a Q. For the small Q, you start in the middle space, you've got the three lines that you're working with, and you start it like an A. You go counterclockwise around, you go straight up the right side, straight down, and then you've got a fish hook. This fish hook, however, um, goes to the right, not to the left, like the J and the G fish hooks go to the uh, left. So, a little different. And have students say qua after each practice, teachers. And go ahead and use pause. Now we're going to go over the new words. Okay, here they are. This is quick, quick, qua. Ack, quack, qu, and Quinn. Quinn is a boy's name. Qu, il, quill, qu, ip, quip. S young students may not know, maybe older students may not know either, but a quill is a type of pen that was used um, in the early. Uh, history of our country, to write with. They would take a feather, a bird feather, and they would slice the end, and then they would dip it in ink, and they'd be able to, to use it as a pen. And it was called a quill pen, which is a feather pen. And quip is a short um, remark that's supposed to be funny, a uh, little joking, maybe. So, um, if mom says to um, big brother that she wants big brother to clean up little brother's room, big brother might quip, oh, sure, mom, I just love to clean up after him. Okay, so that, that would be a little quip of his. So I'd like you now, teachers, to have students practice these five words and use the pause button to do that. Now we're going to practice printing and saying the new words. So again, um, teachers use the pause button, have the students print these, and then say the word after they print it, one to three practices. And next we're going to have the spelling test. Even though there are only five words, there are still 13 is what I counted, 13 letters if you're doing the cutouts. And you'll have to have a capital Q and of course a small Q and a U naturally. And then you'll have some vowels, you'll have a couple of N's, a couple of L's, and I got 13 that you'll need all together, so you'll have to do some rounding up. Use the pause.
All right, now we're going to do the true and false. Have the teacher, <laughs> teachers have the student read the true and false twice. And after the second one, give you the reason why they picked their true or false answer. My answers. Quinn can be a quick pick. I would say this could be true because I can imagine a situation where they're picking teams. Quinn is the best player, so he's going to be the first one to be picked. And so he could be a quick pick. Um, I don't know if the student will be, if it's a young student, they'd be able to think of a scenario like that, though. So you may have uh, a little difficulty explaining that to the student. Number two, a quill can pop a big pig. Well, a quill, like I said, is a pen that used to be used uh, as, I mean, a feather that used to be used as a pen. Um, and it's not going to be able to pop a pig, small or big, unless the pig is a balloon. So I think we had one about a pin popping a hog or something like that. Uh, and it, it won't do that unless the hog is a balloon. Number three, a duck can quack, jog, and dig. Well, we know ducks can quack. Ducks don't jog, they waddle. And I've never really known a duck to dig. So this is false. Four, a quip can be bad. Well, a quip is... Like I gave an example, a short remark that's supposed to be kind of a joke, uh, supposed to be funny, but it could be kind of ugly. You know, I mean, it's possible that it, it may not be done in good taste. So it could be that it's bad. I'd put a true for that one. Okay, next lesson is going to be lesson 17. This is the R lesson, and R makes the R sound as in R rake. So I'm planning to rake in a pile of really reliable realities. So be prepared to jump in in lesson 17.